Hey, hey, this is Sapphire Chow. Welcome back to another fantastical episode of the Chow Garden Let's Play thing with Chow What Extended Mods, and I'm currently walking around as a ginormous mint candy to secretly disguise as a Yosh Man underneath. I don't know if you can see. The there we are. There we are. He's got his hands behind his back. I don't know what he's doing here. Anyways, we are doing some really few more silly things. And let's get started. So uh, our business will reside in the Chow Garden right here. Um, if I can find the Chow that I want to... Okay, actually, good thing I have this. Okay, this mod right here. So we have ourselves Chuckle, who is actually going to be quite ravenous. So we're going to probably primarily raise their stats using, using the mint candy. And there's another Chow I want to feed as well, Blossom. Who is renowned for their ravenousness, rav being ravenous in general? So these are these are size 50 mint candies, and I, what I want to do is actually um, have a, like an eating contest to see how far they can go in terms of their uh, eating capabilities. I know Blossom was known to be ravenous. I think she's lost that. I feel like the new champion could be Chuckle, but there's only a matter of time before we can truly. Um, Truly, uh, you know, have a definitive answer on that. But anyways, let's uh, let's just give you a bit quick update with the rest of these chow. So we have a face mod actually. Yosh. We have Yoshi. Yosh. This is Vegeta, and we have a slime rancher face pack. So we haven't seen a new face pack in a while. This is Vegeta stats. We're going to raise their power once they evolve. Uh, did a lot of off-screen raising during the break. Um, yeah, so this particular mod I don't think I've mentioned was made by Happy Sack Boy, so thank you very much for that. Oh yes, and uh, Prism here. Again, most of their stuff has been raised, um, except for the one stat that I want their uh, their second evolution to happen. Oh wait, wait, okay, Blossom has stopped. Blossom has rage quitted. So I think that means Chuckle is the winner. Chuck Chuckle is now the more ravenous one. That's nice to know. Let's just have a look at their face. I haven't had a good look at this face. And it, it, oh my god, she's just... You're so precious, Blossom. Look at you. She's just, just, just a cutie patootie. And the snake pushing that? <laughs> what is... It? You're trying to push this mint candy out of existence. Can they even pick it up? Nope. Alright. That happens sometimes. Well, Chuckle's still going. Oh, now he's finished. I can't, I can't, can I, I can't pick this one up, can I? Oh, there we go. We have it. We have it again. Oh, well, Chuckle is clearly the winner. It's clearly the, uh, the wiener for that. Um, let's just give this to, who else should we give this to? Actually, you know what? Snake, Snake doesn't mind a bit of food as well. Um, yes, they run. Still sucks. Snake will always be the crawling master. Um, I should probably show off. Oh, yes. Vortex. But again, their power. We're going to raise them up a little bit later. And, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> those are those shocked eyes. That's something. That's definitely a thing. Oh, yeah, and we haven't shown off nebula stats. So, yeah. Uh, for the most part, they're almost all full level 99. So, I did a lot of off screening for that. Mostly with the uh, chaos drives and all that, because that was pretty useful. Gets those stats up pretty quick. Yes, I think that's everything for this garden for now. Um, we'll feed these mint candies to other chow who might just be equally as ravenous. You never know. But um, I think our next business is in the dark garden. So this dark garden here. We'll have a look actually what the other chow look like. Oh, you're hungry. Hey, hang on, can I look at your face? Your face looks... I, I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like you have two mouths. Okay, that's that's. Does that mean you? Well, I mean you're extra hungry right now, so I take it you'd probably eat double the food if you've got two mouths. So look, let's do that. Hello there, Shack. I see you there. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> it's pretty weird. Again, okay, Barry looks like they've seen some crap. Um. Oh, we also have. We have our Mooney Boy Crater. I mean, by and large, they look pretty adorable. Oh, yes. And we have Final. We have Final here that has not yet evolved. Now, I did do a poll a while ago. Um, and thanks to all those who have voted, it was actually really quite close between um, whether I should make, it a, make him into a Tails Chow or Neutral Chaos Chow or just keep them as a neutral run. And I think I've made my decision. 
Um, thanks to your vote, I believe final will be a neutral run type. I feel like it's just he has to be that typing all the time. And besides, uh, if we go to Chow Data, his run stat's in a B. You know what, we might just go all the way up to raising their run stat to S rankings for all we know. Um, so yeah, I just feel like it, I can't, I can't, I find it very hard to make final any other typing other than the run type. So there we go. I think a lot of you also wanted that as well. So, uh, final, yeah, is just going to be a, uh, running type neutral, as always, as, as, as they, as they probably should be. So that's what we're going to be doing with final. So now that we've finally got that out of the way. And who else is here? Oh, we've got our own Jesus. Yours. And you're, 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 you're hangry too. It's always the power types that are really hungry. And who else do we have here? We don't, we've got a few Chow here, don't we? We'll see what you look like, Shaq. Yeah, Shaq. Okay, so that, that, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that, that mouth, that mouth is adorable. What? I, I never would imagine Shaq to have that kind of face, but okay. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I should probably see what those other Chow look like in the Hero Garden. Ah, you didn't finish your food. All right, who's taking the table scraps? Oh, you will. You've got you've got an extra pair of mouths, so you know we'll we'll, we'll do we'll do that for you. There's salad. Um, no no shells lurking in here. Nah, yeah nah. All right, let's let's go let's go take a mosey on over to the Hero Garden. I don't think too much has changed in the Hero Garden since I was since previous episode or episodes. But nonetheless, we're going to have to have a look at those lovely face mods to see the full extent of what it is different Chow look like. So, we have our concerned boy, Churo, who doesn't look very concerned right now. We'll just wait until they stop being happy. Stop being happy, Churo. You're, you're, you're meant to be the shocked one. You're meant to be the one that has seen the unseen. Actually, has it looks pretty amusing too. Oh, there we go. So that is what they look like. Yeah, so, uh, has a pretty good look in there. We have our Edgelord. And yes, they, they all seem to love Eggman, because I've, I've raised these, these chow with practically every single character. Stop being cute, Jerry. You're supposed to do an edge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's okay. I, that, that's what the mouth... Okay, so Squiggly Mouth does that. That's interesting. I believe Chiro was also hungry. What's up, Jerry? Ah, uh, you're singing. You're like, we'll sing for food? Here you go. Well, here's your prize. Oh, now you've now woken up. And your mouth is weird. Oh, it's kind of like clipping through. Kind of. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure, but that's, that's the thing with wine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the mouth that, that little that little mouth is just stupidly adorable. Yes, you may also notice um not no black file today. Just uh just the usual the usual basic I can't even see your mouth. Are you, are you mouthless now, potato? Oh fair enough. Um uh, I don't know if there's anyone else with an interesting face that we should show off. Because everyone else has got hats here. And Savannah's still looking pretty goofy with all these extra long limbs. Now you're singing. Yeah, that, I don't know if it just doesn't work very well in uh, neutral swims, but it just the the mouth can look really distorted for whatever reason. Oh, well, still adorable. <laughs> it just that this face. That is a that's a that's a good face. Very good face. Who should we give this to? Who who is actually the next hungry chow on, in this garden? I should probably probably go through this. Oh, wait. Oh, whoops. I didn't. Okay, well, Snake just appeared out of nowhere, so uh, I guess you can eat that if you want. Uh, do we have another? Yeah, I guess we have another candy right here. So I reckon. You know what? I might just give this to Chuckle again. I reckon he's still ravenous again, isn't he? Yep, he's hungry again. <laughs> there we go. I think he's our new. He's our new. Uh, uh, our new champion of eating mint candies right now.
Oh, and I can't pick this up again, can I? Nope, <laughs> it just disappears out of nowhere. Never mind that. But I presume for the time being, we will be uh, doing, I guess, I guess raising the remaining stats for some of these channels, like for like Prism and Power, uh, also Power for Snick. Yosh. That's for, you did you did good. You nearly burnt me alive, but that's okay. Because she's still precious. She's still the precious one. Um, I will eventually uh, give Blossom the uh, the animal parts she had before. I want to try and do that. I know it will take a while because it's the very specific animal parts and you need good RNG to get what you want from that. But I will attempt to do that anyway at some point. And by the way, you should be quite close to uh, evolving as well. So we should we should probably spam some uh, spam some regular fruits on you. I don't mean to pet you. I want to feed. Let's feed the Vegeta. I know you you don't have too long to go. They are literally inches away from evolution, and I made sure of that. Um, or if you use the metric system, they are centimeters away from evolution. I think most of the most of the world uses the metric system. Nope, you're not gonna. Still, still nothing. Oh, hang on. Oh, you nearly finished that chuckle. Hey, he's a good boy. All right, you know I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna go and spam some more food on Vegeta, but because you know, I, I, we we need to confirm something. We need to confirm if uh, Vegeta likes his veggies. So that is what we're gonna do. And where is it? All oh, right, these are all hats. I can't. It's like you can't eat a watermelon. I mean, we gotta do the right thing here. This is what we're looking for. Let's go square fruits. Because we've got to make sure. Does can he eat his greens? And then we're off chance that he doesn't like square fruits. This will be awkward. Okay, let's go do that. Oh Vegeta! Stop playing with your balls and eat some greens. Damn it! <laughs> He does not eat his greens. Ah, oh, boo. Wait, does anyone here like like? Okay, ah, uh, Nebula likes that. Actually, do you would do do you like this? Do you like this velvet? Yes, you like that. See, they eat their greens. Vegeta, why you not eat your veggies? How about you, Prism? Yep. Okay, they eat their greens too. See, they're 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 good model for healthy diet. Although the whole favorite fruit thing, it only just tells them, like, determines whether or not they can actually eat the fruit, but there's no actual benefits, honestly, for, fa for feeding chow like their favorite fruits. I, th I think it might have been, like, a, maybe something unused or just an underutilized feature. But it's a shame that nothing was really developed further for that. Oh, yeah, even Vortex will eat their greens. So everyone here can eat their greens except for. except for you. Except for you, Vegeta. Vegeta will not eat his veggies. All right, then. Well, I guess we have to go with the basic fruits. Oh wait, wait, wait! Are you not taking it? So therefore, you're now cocooning. Hey -o. Hello there, prism. Yes, hello there, prism. <laughs> is the prism just gonna keep waving at me while we just? Uh, I, f I feel like prism is doing what uh, plasma does to Chow that reincarnate. That's just an in joke for those who don't know. Whenever there's a chow that reincarnates, apparently there's a, there's a chow named uh, Plasma that just has to appear in the background and wave. Here we go. He's now an edge. Edgelord. An adorable edgelord at that. Very adorable. And we'll, we'll, we'll kid him out to all the right sort of uh, animal parts and all those sorts of things. There we go. We have our, we have our. He's, he's normally a lot more, lot more shocked looking and concerned than he usually is in this mod face mod, but now he's just an adorable little button. So, okay, that's interesting. You had normal eyes there for a second. That was weird. Well, um, there we go. We have ourselves Vegeta. We should probably do some more stat raising as well. Actually, we should probably get. Actually, will they will they still eat their greens now that they evolved? No. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, 
should. All right, who else should deserve to eat this? Maybe Blossom can eat this again. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just so solely raise their stats using mint candies because because it's lazy and efficient. I mean, maybe it's more efficient. It's not necessarily, it's not necessarily lazy, but you still, yeah. It's just a lot really easy to uh, just raise your chow stats with this. Only downside is they can't raise their luck and intelligence through this method, so you're gonna have to rely on other stuff. Maybe you can rely on smart fruits and those sorts of things. If you want to raise those particular stats. But yeah, it's it, this, this is so so OP. This particular fruit. It's only a fruit, isn't it? It's like the only thing that that's edible that isn't a fruit in this game. Here, Velvet, join the pool party. There's a pool party and you're invited. Hey, Vegeta. Join the pool party. So over the next few episodes, I think for the child that haven't got full level 99 yet, we'll be uh, setting up their second evolution. And I think following on from that, we'll probably get... I'm thinking either Jerry and or Potato to get some reincarnations going. And of course we'll add some more uh, raising for the final, the final boy. The screamy final boy, the legendary final um, that is, is clearly the best boy, as voted by you guys. Now you're still not going to eat that, Blossom. Okay, well Blossom no, is no longer the ravenous one. It's, you've heard it here first, guys. Blossom, Blossom only can have a have a bit of a threshold of how much candy they can take. <laughs> All right, we have summoneth the uh, chaos dives, and now we have a bunch of chow that I might fall asleep as well. Now, you there, Vortex? I think we're going to start raising your stats. Now, Vortex is a rather strong. There's rather strong power. Well, they are very, they're a strong chow. And so we're going to make put, we put them into their uh, second evolution, but their mega evolution for the power thing. And I, I, I feel I must be out of practice or something. Because really, it's... There we go. That is what I wanted to do. So we're going to spam on this for a while. To get that power nice and high. Shouldn't take too long. I might have to cut out a bit of footage for this. That's yeah. Never mind. Doesn't help that I have like eight like eight different chow in this garden. It's a, it's a pretty full chow. A uh, pretty full garden full of chow, that is certain to say. Yes, I feel like I'm really out of practice in doing this particular glitch. Then again, it could also be attributed to the fact that I have been playing Sonic Adventure DX more recently, and I've, I have been uh, playing around with that, and also in the Chow Garden with mods, so you might have noticed a few... a recent video that did feature Sonic Adventure DX. And I do want to do more stuff in relation to that game, so I would like to do a playthrough, maybe a Chow Garden playthrough of the Sonic Adventure DX with the mods. It's not as fleshed out as, say, Chow would extend it in this game, but I do want to show that off, definitely. I definitely want to do that. Um, the the glitch for that game, like how, how the reuse glitch works, is a bit more wonky and the spacing is different, so maybe I'm just accustomed to that and I'm trying to work my way around this particular thing. Oh my god, I am so bad at this. How does one do the reuse glitch? It does, they do it like that. That is how, that is how it's done. I mean, probably doesn't help the fact that I'm also using Eggman, and did you just try shaking a invisible tree? Vortex, Vortex, do you have the force? It's a force with you. It's a bit strange though, because you are armless, and therefore, you know, you have to... How would, how would you shake a tree, Vortex? Would you have to just bang it against your head? Get like a concussion or something with that, all that? That's not exactly a healthy outlook for you there, Vortex. You don't you need to keep your brain cells intact. <laughs> this is gonna take me like a billion jillion years. 
<laughs> okay, I need. I think I need to get closer. Well, maybe not. Oh my god, I must be getting at the wrong angle. There we go. It's all in them angles. All that. There we go. Oh, well, that's useful. <laughs> well, thanks for that, Vortex. I mean, it took me ages. It took me how long? Like, it took me like 10 minutes, and I still haven't finished their stats. So it took me a lot longer than I expected. I'm down to my last thingamajiggy. I'm down to my last chaos drive. Oh, well, we must start using this on Vegeta. I like how Vegeta occasionally has normal dark eyes and then doesn't. <laughs> like right there. <laughs> they have the face mod. The face mod's a thing. And yet they uh, somehow defied the face mods. I don't know. I don't know what the reason behind that is. Maybe it's a glitch of sorts. But anyways, I want to try and... I, I need to get good at this uh, reuse glitch again. Because <laughs> I've, I've, I've derped way too many times. I doped so much that I had to cut out all that footage, so <laughs> pretty much. But yes, uh, Vegeta will be a power power typing. And I think once they are full level 99, we need to uh, chuck them in some Chao Karate. Um, probably in, well, probably in uh, Expert and Super Karate. Um, it just seems normal in their nature to uh, to beat up some Chao in, in the ring. It'd just be, I'd say they'd be quite the martial artist. Nope. Oh, never mind. Well, so much for that. Alright, you go have a swim or something. Literally, almost everyone's asleep. Well, like, I think people are asleep. Blossom, are you hungry enough for some more... ...things? Oh, who didn't eat their greens? We've got some leftover greens here. There you go. Here you go, Velvet. I do like the fact that this swim is 666. That was on total accident, by the way. Uh, we will be raising this swim type uh, to be so there'll be a dark run swimming type. Chow. Yours. 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 No, Blossom has proven herself that she is not that hungry anymore. That is kind of strange. All right, to finish this off, I think we'll just feed Chuck all the remaining uh, mint candy right here. I think he'll probably eat it up pretty easily now that he's our new uh, mint candy eating champion. He, uh, so, yeah, no, you know what? Blossom Blossom was the mint candy eating champion of 2018. But of 2019, that title goes to Chuckle. Oh, and who's doing band? Who's doing band? Ah, we have band here. Let's get Vegeta involved. I don't know if Vegeta knows any instruments, but you know what? Let's let them join in anyway. Well, okay. Well, they'll, they'll just sit there blankly staring into space. How about yourself there? Nope. They want to swim. Okay. Velvet's got better things to do. Like swimming. And I guess Vegeta's got all the better things to do, like running in that corner over there. Oh. Yao, you did a good. Good job, Snake and Prism. You nearly finished it. No, we must. You must eat. Eat, chuckle. You know you can. You know you want to. You've got one more bite to go. I am not gonna end this off until you finish your candy. I'd be like one of those parents to be like, until you've cleaned your plate. 
We ain't finishing this. All right, there we go. We have our chuckle boy, our goofball. Got some relatively high levels now. Probably continue raising those stats. And now I reckon I think I shall end things up here. So, this has been Sapphire Chow and I am over and out.